everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 544 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today, I feel like playing with some eyeshadow, so I'm going to be trying out the Santee Shadow Lover Eyeshadow Palette. So believe it or not, this is a $1 eyeshadow palette, but it has 12 shades that are so pretty and diverse like i love that this is a palette that let me open it so that i can actually show you <laughs> but i love how much variety of color there is in this palette i feel like a lot of those dollar store eyeshadow palettes that i get they're like all purples or all nudes or all blues but look at the diverse shades here you've got mattes you've got shimmers you've got glitter so i'm very intrigued by these this is from Shop Miss A, so this is also cruelty free, and it has a lot of very high ratings on the Shop Miss A website. It also comes in four different color variations. This one is the shade variation number two. And I just wanna start out by swatching some of these colors. So we've got what seems like a pressed glitter Oh my gosh, beautiful metallic pigment there. I have to swatch this red shade just because this stands out to me. Ooh, that has a really pretty kind of satiny finish as well. Pretty, it's much more of a pinky toned red. So at first I'm like, that's an intimidating color, but now that I've seen it swatched, I love that. I love that for like a holiday eyeshadow look. Let me swatch this kind of champagne gold shade. Wow. Even that one has great pigment. We have a really pretty sparkly purple shade. Wow. These also have a nice formula where they don't feel too chalky and dry. That's really pretty. All of these kind of have shimmer, which shows what I'm drawn to. So I wanna try swatching a matte shade. So this here is like a khaki green. Wow. I actually really like this shade too. Even the matte one swatched with great pigment. Wow. Those all look so good. I'm even more excited right now to try out this palette on my eyes. Of course, first I am just going to prime my eyelids using the Urban Decay Primer Potion because this is my go-to eye primer. Since I have a lot of creases in my eye, and that way I can be sure that these eyeshadows are performing under the best circumstances. Okay, so I'm going to start out with a transition shade. So there's actually two options. There's this lighter matte brown here, so I'll try that one. But then there's more of a chocolate brown that's also matte there and both of those could be great transition shades so I'm just using a fluffy crease brush from the brand Colab which I find at Sally Beauty Supply that's where I bought this brush yeah I like that crease shade I don't even really know what kind of look I want to go for, but what I love about this palette is that you can create so many different looks. You can create kind of edgy, nighttime looks, or just very casual, daytime looks. But I really like that crease shade. It blended nicely, and it gave that good shadowy depth effect to my eye shape. But for the fun of it, I'm gonna pick up some of this chocolate brown shade in the corner. 
and I'm not even having a bad kickback at all. There's like no kickback. Oh yeah, so this shade is definitely able to deepen up that crease. Ooh, wow. That's some really great pigment. Blending out beautifully. You know what, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna take this really dark brown shade here and smoke out the outer V with this shade, whoa. Yep, this has great pigment. It's showing up very dark, but it's also actually blending out and smoking out really nicely and evenly. So I want to smoke this out. I don't want it to be too, too dark because I want to incorporate some color into this look, but that definitely gave a nice, smoky, kind of dramatic effect. I really cannot believe that this is a $1 palette that came with 12 different shades. Like every shade that I've used so far has been so good. Like I just took the tiniest bit onto my brush and this is applying as full black color. I need to clean up that edge already. It's a lot, like you have to be careful with this shade, it's so pigmented. I'm not used to that with $1 palettes. Okay, let's see. Now I'm gonna take this shimmery purple shade and I'm gonna apply it with my finger all over my eyelid. Ooh, so pretty and it shows up so well with great pigment. I'm just gonna wanna tone down that black shade so I'm going over that area a bit. Ooh, I love this color combination actually. This has such beautiful shimmer sparkle to it, but it's also such a pretty shade of like a lavender. Honestly, the fallout is not even an issue either. I just got a little bit messy with that black shadow, but quickly and easily touch it up with a makeup wipe. Wow. Okay, and now I'm gonna take this more of a pinky, light pink shade, and I'm going to use that as the brow highlight. Ooh, beautiful. That actually pops really nicely. I feel like I just wanna add a little bit more of that crease shade to bring back that transition a little bit more. Okay. And now I'm gonna take some of this gold shade and apply that to the inner corner. Look at that, that's super brightening and beautiful. Wow, I love that in the inner corner. Oh my gosh, I cannot get over these shadows. This is performing like a high-end palette, like this the way they apply, the way they look together, the pigment. I am blown away right now. And you know what, to finish it off for the fun of it, I'm gonna go in with this shimmery dark 
almost black shade to apply down my lower lash line. This is very pigmented as well. <laughs> no surprise, they're all amazingly pigmented. Okay, wow, I had so much fun playing with this palette. This is a very dramatic smoky eye compared to what I'm normally wearing these days, but I really like how this came out. It's darker than what I thought, but that's because these had so much more pigment to them than I expected, which is a good thing. This is a palette that I just wanna keep playing with nonstop. There are so many looks to create. So let me know in the comments down below what kind of color combinations you would make with this palette. And if you've tried this palette, let me know your thoughts on it. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.